hello good morning i hope you are all doing good so i'm going uh, uh today i'm going to explain how this amplifier works it's a 5.2 amplifier assembled and i'm going to show the uh, working parts inside and how the connections are made this basically has a bluetooth has a bluetooth port and uh, it can play from bluetooth pen drive uh tf card that is uh, sd card aux and uh, you can also input three other stereo inputs and one input from a dvd so let's go into the amplifier uh it's powered by this uh am transformer which is 27 0 27 8 amperes and 12 0 12 1 ampere uh, the 12, uh, zero 12 is dedicated only for the uh, cooling fans inside this amplifier uh, to me uh, to have it uh, well vent well ventilated because it's it, it, it gets quite hot uh, I'm going to show the inputs from the behind so you get an idea what it is it has uh, three stereo inputs one two three and one DVD input and this cabinet also has the facility to include uh, coaxial and optical inputs but uh, since the customer did not ask i'm not including those in here so i've left it uh, blank but in future if you want we can add it just throw in the coaxial optical decoder we get it and this is the dmk section where you, your outputs are where you connect your speakers there's front left front right surround left surround right center output and sub 1 which is 100 watts and sub 2 this is powerful it's 300 watts there you go uh, the inputs from stereo and DVD goes into this remote kit board this is the actual brains of this amplifier where all the audio is processed and uh, there you go that's the input from the USB board that's the input from the DVD section so the all the inputs are processed here uh, this is the switch I've included for uh, a future uh, if we decide to include an optical uh, board then the input will come here we can s manually select uh, if you want DVD or uh optical input so that's how it is so all the inputs come here we select the input and from here the output goes uh like i said we have a wide variety of inputs here uh, four stereo inputs bluetooth tf card pen drive so the output goes to one of these uh, boards it's a six uh, channel 12 transistor board that is uh, 65200 and 61943 transistors are there uh, two for each board uh, so the rating is 100 watts per channel RMS and uh, that's a quite heavy board and here we have this is a dedicated board for the heavy sub subwoofer uh, it has four MOSFETs to uh, uh, 5200 and it's coupled with 4191 circuit it's, uh, so you get an RMS value of 300 watts and it's very heavy and uh, you can use up to 12 inch JBL subwoofers and heavy 12 inch subwoofers so this is the uh, frequency subwoofer frequency board uh, filter board uh, the output from the remote kit is quite low so I have included this for the heavy uh, for the lower uh, frequency responses and uh, there you go you can select uh, frequency using this uh, controller uh, to suit uh, the exact uh, to suit the subwoofer the customer has so you can select the subwoofer frequency there this is the volume control so for the heavy subwoofer the controls are manual but uh, for other six channels there is you can use uh, control using remote kit now we'll see the uh, power section uh, 
so that you have uh, four uh, MOSFETs, uh, four uh, 10,050 volt microfarad, uh, 10,000 microfarad capacitors. The AC power comes in, it's rectified using a metal diode. Uh, from there it goes to the capacitor and from capacitor to the entire board. Its rating is 10,000 microfarad, 50 volts. These two are uh, for the uh, 300 watts board alone. So I've designed it in such a way that uh, that's only connected to these. And from the other two, rest of the circuit. On, from this, only this board. A dedicated microfarads for this. And uh, there you have the, the fan is also only for this um, board. So that you know, it's well ventilated. And I'm going to show you how it works. I'll just switch it on to show how the amplifier works. Yes, I switched it on. It's quite bright here. Okay. There you see, uh, this is the endless rotary controller. Uh, and uh, when, you, when you push it, you can select the individual channels volume, front, rear, base, treble, and this remote kit also allows you to uh, change the gain control. So if the gain is very less, you can improve it and if the gain is too loud, you can decrease it too. So let's go again inside. The input comes from there to the uh, remote kit. From here you can uh, select the input selections, whichever you want. It's processed and its output its output goes to this six channel MOSFET board. And the sub output alone has been filtered using another sub filter board and it goes to this 300 watts board. And all goes to uh, all comes down to this speaker protection kit with AC sense. What it does is uh, it delays the um, when you switch it on, it delays and uh, switches on only after five seconds. So if there is when you switch on, if there is a power surge, it will not affect your speaker. Or if you if you are connecting to the damaged speaker, it will not um, it will not damage your uh, circuit. So vice versa it helps and uh, from the output is connected to the dmk module so input comes this way processed and it goes through there there's the output there you go two fan it's well ventilated thank you guys so this is the end and uh, do share subscribe like if you like this video and uh, in future i'll post more videos on how the uh, amplifier is made i'll post the making video as well and this is my first attempt so i'm sorry if it's not up to the mark thank you very much